Hello everyone, Justin here. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you clicking on the video. And in this video today, we are going to be hot lapping the Silverstone circuit in Assetto Corsa Competizione. This was a track I had no experience with prior to starting ACC, but I've quickly begun to really, really appreciate it. And it's been really fun to try to get quicker and I'm excited to show you guys some laps. First, I thought I'd start off by sharing with you guys the methodology that I personally use to familiarize myself with a new track in sim racing. And then from there, we'll hop in the rig, I'll do some laps, take you guys along, and we'll see how fast I go. Let's do it. So in Gran Turismo Sport, I had cone markers, basically breaking points marked for me in the game. And I used to just use those to learn a new track and it was all pretty simple. But in ACC and most other Sims, you're not gonna have those. So for Silverstone, I had to approach learning a track in a new way. And what worked for me was using a video track guide made by a very good driver and content creator. Basically, I watched their video, pulled up a track map, and then literally took my own notes. And yeah, I don't know what you guys do, but this method seemed to work well for me. I'd be interested to hear in the comments if you guys think this is overkill, if you think it's just better for me as a beginner to jump out onto a track and learn by driving, or just how you guys learn a new track in general. It'd be cool to hear your thoughts. Oh, and uh, one more thing, don't forget, uh, always before jumping to a new track, it is imperative to engage in meditation for at least six to 12 hours. I like to drink all the various energy drinks that sponsor Formula One and motorsport in general, while I do this. Uh, meditation is going to be vitally important, primarily in that it's going to allow you to recognize that engaging with and viewing internet content is really all that matters and is the key to everything. And from there, you're ready to go. All right, and with that, we are ready to do some driving. Driving the BMW M4 GT3 car, which is a really nice, well-behaved, balanced car, by the way, for a beginner like myself. Let's go with aggressive preset. Let's run TC at two. Power on, ignition on. This is a V6 engine, so it's not gonna sound as good as uh, some of the other cars, but let's get a good benchmark lap. Into cop's corner. Uh, had to lift way too much. There's some fast sweeping quarters in Silverstone. I find them really difficult, but also really enjoyable. Maggots, Beckett's and Chapel. Mm, not on the power soon enough. Now into stow. Break at the beginning of this curve, but Stow has been really difficult for me because I can just never quite decide when to get on the power. Take some courage, which, or some skill, which I don't quite have at this point. All right. On to the Hamilton straight. Difficult corner of this. You almost take it flat. Try to find the apex. Now into the loop. Ooh, did not hit that at all. The A pillar makes that pretty hard. Miss shift. Not a miss shift, but I redlined it. Too cautious. All right, now into left field. On the power too late, but left field always makes me nervous. I've ruined so many laps spinning out of that. All right, what's gonna be our benchmark? 2023. We can do way better than that. Wow, having a really good lap here. I will say, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to make a YouTube video or make a video where you provide commentary as you're driving. It's really hard. At least I think it's really hard, so. 
I just do this for fun. If you guys have YouTubers that you watch who do this full time, don't forget to like their stuff because not only is it hard work, but they've clearly got a lot of talent. And I had all of these corners memorized and all these straights memorized, but now that i am got these cameras in front of me and I'm on the track trying to put in a good time, they, I'm literally just drawing a blank. It's funny. Where is my pace? There we go. Hooking it up a little more this lap, but still, one of the best parts about being a beginner is you just always know there's more time. You know that you're, you know that there's just no way you're on the pace, so you can look at every corner as an opportunity to get better. All right, no more messing around. Oh, no, no, no. Guys, I don't think I'm drinking enough of those energy drinks that the Formula One drivers are drinking. So, I've been recording for about 15 minutes. And I haven't put in a single lap I'm happy with. But that's okay, right? Mistakes happen, you make them, and you trust and your capacity to improve. No, 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 no. Let me get some more speed. I have been driving for just over an hour now and I really wanna get a better time. And yeah, I'm already starting to sweat, but I'm gonna keep going. Let's do this. All right, so I was having this problem in the previous session where I was doing everything wrong, so we're gonna not do that this time. And so I decided to give it another hour or so and see how much I could improve. And to be honest, I just couldn't talk and focus enough at the same time. So I took the mic off and put all of my attention on my pace because I knew I could get a better time. I set a goal for myself of a sub two minutes and 0.5 seconds and aimed for that. And I did thankfully start to see some decent improvement in both pace and consistency. Lap times below or right around the 201s, which was nice. At the same time though, mistakes were being made way more than I wanted. Tons of lap invalidations. I was honestly getting kind of frustrated with myself. You can see here, I don't want to scare anyone with this footage, but here I am violently slamming my wheel with my palm after yet another invalidation. I'm not proud of it, but these were the high intensity emotions of the moment. Anyways, about 90 total minutes of driving later, I was able to put in my personal best lap, which we will ride along with now. Heading into cops, breaking right before the 50 and then trying to eye that apex and then on the power as brave as I can be, avoiding that invalidation. Now into Meggett's, Beckett's and Chapel, hitting this apex, then a slight tap of the brakes, trying to find the quickest line into Beckett's. And then important to get on the power once again as early as I can so that I can have as much speed as possible out onto the hangar straight. Heading into Stowe, one of the most difficult corners for me on this circuit. Am I gonna find the limit? It's a tough place to be in ACC. Breaking at that curb, looking for that late apex and then on the power, trying to get a good exit, coming up to over 200 kph into Vail, breaking right at the curb, trying to tuck in, stay to the outside, and get on the power nice and early again. Hoping to have as much speed as I can onto the Hamilton straight. Now into another high speed, difficult corner for me, Abby. Just hoping I get that turn in point right. On the power, carrying as much speed, pushing these tires to their limit. Now into Village, heavy braking now at the start of the curb. Hugging into that apex, powering out just for a little while, but slow again into the loop. Found the apex and a good exit, probably the best exit I've had so far. 
out of the loop through Aintree and now onto the Wellington Strait. Two more corners to go. I'm on for a good lap, but these are some difficult corners. Breaking right at the sign, hugging into Brooklyn's, and powering out, getting as much power down as I can, and then breaking once again into Luffield, hugging the inside. Power out now, pushing the tires again, pushing that traction control, but I'm onto the main straight. I'm up, yes. a sigh of relief, my goal time had been achieved. Yes. Holy crap, how, many how much long has it been? All right, so it is two hours and 15 minutes later, and the best time I was able to get was a two minute 0 0.40, whatever I put up here. But regardless, really happy to see that level of improvement, especially since the uh, session was really rocky at the beginning. I couldn't seem to put together any sort of good lap, but did manage to focus up and uh, seize that improvement, which always feels good. That's one of the nice things about being a beginner in this hobby is you know there's plenty, plenty room for improvement. And hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully more to come in future videos. But for now, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to push the limits of your own hobbies, learn, grow, be happy, all that stuff, because life's short and it's worth enjoying. See you on the next video. Take care.